willing to leave. Let him go. We're leaving. Ma'am, I'm... All right, let's pull it. Let's go back to Kay. Um, this isn't the exact clip. I mean, that's the uncensored video clip, and then the news reports on it as well, and they show that, hey, they were 400 yards away, or 400 feet away from Scientology. It was still across the street. They were on the sidewalk walking up. They had V for Vendetta masks on, but they didn't even have them over their faces. They were on the back of their heads, and they said that they were intimidating them with it. I mean, that's the issue to me, Kay, is that these people were arrested for trying to exercise their free speech before they even got to do so. Okay. You with us, Kay? Yeah, I am. Can you hear okay. me? Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't know what to say. That was the police. That wasn't someone from the church. Um, but I, I did want to call in because I wanted to make a few points, if I might. Sure. Um, since our inception in 1950, uh, Scientology has been fighting the abuses and criminal activity, including murder, of, of psychology and psychiatry. Mm -hmm. And um, we pretty much, um, until recently, like I know that you and Alex um, go into that a bit, until recently we've kind of borne it alone. Um, but we've been fighting that for over 50 years. No, I know, I know um, that's one of the points that I really agree with Tom Cruise on. He has been a, 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 you know, one of the most outspoken people against uh, psychi psychiatry, psychology, um, medication, and that sort of thing. Where I think that I differ with uh, Scientologists is their use of fair game. And I, I'm sure you know what the term fair game is if you're a Scientologist. If they go after you, you can go after them. I feel like that's a little excessive. And number two, I'm no fan of L. Ron Hubbard. Do you, have you ever heard of um, L. Ron Hubbard's relationship with uh, Jack Parsons by chance? Uh, I have, but let me say a few things, okay? Sure, sure. Okay. Mr. Hubbard, uh, who's the founder of Scientology, um, is, a, was a, is a patriot. He's an American. He's actually a, a veteran. Uh, decorated. He was a naval uh, commander during World War II. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very much a patriot. But, but, and, but hold uh, on, by those by those standards, you know, just you know, being in the military and serving or whatever, then George Bush H W would be a patriot. Even W would be a patriot. Not, I don't think any of no, either of those two would be patriots. You know, the the thing that I was calling in about Jason, mm -hmm. if I might, is sure. that um, it would be. I would love it if you could actually read some of Mr. Hubbard's. Uh, writings on the, uh, on freedom that he wrote in the early 70s, and um, well, I actually, I actually think it was the early 70s, maybe the late 70s, mm -hmm. because the things that he writes about are spot on with you, and exactly what you're saying. They are totally spot on. Um, he it was a patriot. He's no longer with us, mm -hmm. um, but he was very much an American, and unlike psychiatry and psychology, which are German and Russian, um, Freud and Wundt, uh, Mr. Hubbard was very much an American. All right. And, well, well, let uh, me, I want to get one more thing from you, and then i got to let you go so I can go to another caller. I just want to get your take on, you know, what South Park did. And, you know, at the upper echelons of Scientology, do they believe this stuff that, you know, aliens from a volcano came to this earth, the Thetans and all this other stuff? I mean, I, I, I see it denied all the time by prominent Scientologists. I'm wondering what your take on that is. Right now, you want me to say? Yeah, Do no, no, I'm just, I'm just asking whether you think that's phony or is you that know? really a part of the religion at, at the upper echelons? I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there uh, about Scientology that is portrayed in negative light. I, I won't disagree with you on that. Um, personally, I, you know, I'm up in the air about L. Ron Hubbard. I, I, from what I've read, I, I don't particularly like the guy. But, you know, I will read the writings that you're talking about and maybe we'll do a fair and balanced piece uh, we'll go back and forth uh, sometime in the next coming weeks. But do, uh, obviously average Scientologists don't believe that, but at the upper echelons, do they believe that, you know, these Thetan things do exist and that they're, you know, from the volcano? I mean, it, it seems like it's like this outer space weird cult thing. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just putting now, it out there. you know, I, I understand. You know, People can say all kinds of things about a lot of different things. People are saying in the news that terrible untruths and half truths about not about uh, Alex and about different things because they might disagree. Whatever you've heard is certainly not true. That uh, the term Satan basically means spirit, mm -hmm. human spirit. That's all it means. 
All right, all right, Kay, I got to jump. I got to jump, and uh, I, I'll, you know, I'm going to do a whole thing on, on the Scientology issue now that I've got a Scientologist listening and calling into the show. I feel like I have to do that. Thank you for the call. Let's jump to Casey in Arizona. You're on the air. Hey, Yes, guys. sir. Okay. Hey, earlier today, it was awesome. I was listening to Rush Limbaugh just because I hear some kooky things what he says, but there was Obama deception advertisements on there, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wondering if they even ever watched the movie because... Obviously, it tears up their boy Georgie, too. Mm -hmm. you know, no, of course not. What happened is Ted Anderson was smart. I mean, I had Ted Anderson on earlier, and I was talking about what a genius he is because he's running commercials all over the country on, you know, I mean, he's, he's running co commercials on Howard 100 and Howard 101 for the creature from Jekyll Island, but he's really smart about it. He's saying this book, this very important book, not saying what the book is and saying that it's coming with a silver dollar and it's backed by Ron Paul. And he took out a bunch yeah. of ads all over conservative radio for the Obama deception as well, because Ted is really about getting this information out. And uh, we were, yeah, and we were pulled from a couple of them. I believe that we were pulled from Glenn Beck, and I think that we were pulled from Sean Hannity's show. But I don't think Limbaugh's gotten hip to it yet. Um, we'll not. see. <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely haven't seen it. Listen, that's for that's advertiser money, man. I, I would be lying to you if, uh, yeah, I, I would be lying to you if I said that all the commercials that are on between my thing, I know what the products are. I don't. Those are network commercials. All I can vouch for are my sponsors. You know, uh, I take the sponsors that I believe in. So I'm I'm hoping that they don't get hip to it and they play those commercials for the next month. I I hope so too. I just was thinking it was cool that it was on there today. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to tell you, I mean, I, I watched Loose Change. I've listen, been listening to you and Alex for like five or six months now, mm -hmm. researching all this stuff, I mean, myself and Googling stuff. I was wondering if you've heard of um, a couple other documentaries. There's 9-11 Coincidences, a series. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, then, um, I, I don't know about the 9-11 Coincidences one. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen oh. that one. What the else other one's Missing Links. That's uh, Mike Delaney. Yeah, you know, the Missing Links thing is just anti-Semitic. I mean, is some of it legitimate? Sure, but a, a lot of the legitimate stuff that's in there is in my film Fabled Enemies. I legitimately go after Israel. I don't say that there's... Hold on. Yeah, no, I just, I just don't like, and I'll hold you over to the next segment, man. I just don't like the fact that he says that they share a racial bounds or something, and then he's got Hasidic Jews dancing around in the, in the background. It's ridiculous. We'll come back after this.